I'm Mike Braun, and I approve this message. Your Weather Authority, brought to you by Dorset Ford. Drive it home with Dorset Ford, Marshall, Illinois. Now, your local weather authority with meteorologist Dan Reynolds. Welcome back. Looking northwest. Uh, some blue skies out there on the Graber Post Building Skywatch Network camera. I think we'll go mostly clear during the overnight hours. Keep your fingers crossed on that. Here's what we're tracking on the weather headlines. Excessive heat, a warning and an advisory. Out rain returning. Trying to anyway tomorrow night. Right now, Terre Haute, 90 degrees at the airport. Dew points up there at 73. We were in the low 80s yesterday on that dew point. That's Florida-like. It feels like 98 in Terre Haute with that south wind at 8. The low temps, muggy. 69 Robinson with a cool spot, 72 Terre Haute. Pretty much a repeat tomorrow morning with those low 70s and the highs today. 90 Terre Haute, 89 Paris and Mattoon. Hit 92 at Vincennes and Robinson. Now, temps currently still on the warm side. Some 90s left out there. Clinton at 90. Terre Haute at 90. 92 down the road at Sullivan. and Vincennes at 91 along with Newton and Effingham. Now, temps over the next 48 hours, 70s night, 90s daytime, 70s at night, back into the upper 80s by Monday. So, a break here and there. Here's what it feels like right now. 98 in Terre Haute, 102 in uh, Mattoon, 103 in Flora, only at 96. Robinson, 100. Bloomington, 98. Get the idea, it's hot. That's just out of the danger category for most of us. But over the next 48 hours, 70s at night, hundreds again tomorrow afternoon. That's why that excessive heat uh, warning for Illinois is in effect through 8 p.m. and the advisory for Indiana until 8 p.m. Sunday night. Winds will be light out of the south. Metro view, if you're headed out tonight, I don't think you have much to deal with other than the heat and the humidity. Dew points are going to stay in the 70s. It's 74 right now is our dew point here at the studios. Clear skies, clearing anyway as we go through the evening. The bulk of the precipitation is moving north, and there could be some active weather north of us, but we'll stay rain-free tonight. We'll dodge any severe weather, probably tomorrow as well, even though we'll have some rain start to work its way in, most likely tomorrow night later. Future cast right now, with all the heat and all the moisture, so we go into the daylight hour Sunday, could pop a pop-up shower storm there around Bloomington area. Here comes that batch in Sunday night. It doesn't look like it's going to be a big rain, quarter inch or less for most of you. You could get a little heavier rain out of that if you get a thunderstorm camped out over you. The big news, of course, is the heat. All of our Illinois counties under an excessive heat warning. When you get a warning, that's the kind of kind of the way you want to take it easy. And of course, the safety tips this kind of uh, type of weather. Light colored clothing, drink lots of water, brakes if you're outdoors, seek that air conditioning if you can. Check on those without air conditioning, those who are ill, the elderly, pets, and just take it easy until we break this heat pattern. For Indiana, it's a heat advisory. Feels like it's a little warmer in Illinois. That's how it's been working out. So take it easy right through the weekend. 72 tonight, muggy. I think we go mostly clear during the overnight hours with a south wind at 5 to 10. Then tomorrow, that heat index again is going to top 100 in most areas, at least for a brief period of time. Could see some scattered showers and storms in. Uh, more likely, I think we'll see that tomorrow night. 92 for the high. Then looking ahead on the extended forecast, it stays warm. We at least get out of the 90s for a couple of days, but we'll deal with some scattered showers and storms Monday and Tuesday. Independence Day Wednesday, looking dry but hot at 93. Introduce some scattered showers and storms back in here on Friday. Stays really hot day and nighttime right through the forecast period. Omar's back next with sports.